What do you think at this like they're if they're in high school? What can they do to kind of prepare for that? Because the the working environment is very it could it could um not be what it expected just. Like what you said, because you probably didn't thought about that when you wanted to become a structural engineer back、mm-hmm. in high school. Like, is there something that they can do to prepare for it? So when I was in high school, when I was in university, in the early stages of my career, you're I'm thinking that having the technical ability and doing good technical work will make you recognized by the corporation, and you will be able to advance、um, osmosisly. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not as simple as that. You need to be able to communicate. You need to be able to let people know that you were part of this outstanding. Team and you've accomplished this amazing project, and this is what you did to、um, bring yourself, ele- elevate yourself t- to that level. And you need to tell people. And a lot of times, going back to the culture, as Asians, you don't brag because that is not the right thing to do. You, the work shows by itself. So. Um, when I go back and talk about when you're little and you do something well, and、uh, for example, your parents' friends recognize it, your parent, my parents would say, "Oh, that was just nothing. We just <laughs> found her from a garbage can, and that was just <laughs> no big deal." And when you think about it, you internalize it as a child, and you、yeah. still think about it. And even though they went to the extreme, because for them. To discount your accomplishments, it means that you're doing. They're doing a good job as a parent in in that type of cultural um, uh, cultural uh, stage. That was acceptable. That's what was expected. But it, the cross cultural differences between Western and and Asian is so different that、um, we're working in a in a Western society, and that's just not how it. How you how you behave, like very often it took years and years. And when people give me a compliment, I could not say thank you. That was not something that you do. You you just continue to say, yeah, that was that really just no big deal or whatever. You you come up with something to push that down. Whereas in the Western culture, you say thank you graciously, and 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 you can. You can say things and convey what you've done that's well without making it sound like you're really bragging. But you need to do that. I think that's one of the important things. And the other thing that I want to say is that、um, there was sexual harassment, and as a female, you need to be able to recognize what is not acceptable and what in your brain thinks. That your brain may think, okay, this is an odd situation; it might not happen again. Or,、um, it did it really happen? And was it you? Did you bring it on? You need to recognize all the signs. And the Me Too movement really has something that people should remember and not just let it be forgotten. Especially young engineers or young females, they need to be aware. Regardless of what discipline that they're in, they need to be aware that this could happen.